here with the NSU coach, Donald Pickett. Coach, a busy week this week, Louisiana, hosting Louisiana Tech Wednesday at 6 p.m. before you get back into conference play this weekend when you head to McNeese. Um, let's start with Louisiana Tech first. Always a, a really tough uh, matchup. Great to have good competition that's that's so close and you can get competitive midweek games out of it. Yeah, I mean, Louisiana Tech's a really good team and uh, they got a lot of upperclassmen on their team and they're having a great year so far. So, uh, you know, we, we want to continue to play well, uh, to compete, but it's a, it's definitely a good thing, I think, both ways to be able to play some non-conference games uh, in the middle weeks here in this close, and, uh, you know, I think it makes each team better. NSU, of course, has had uh, a really good last two weeks. It took two of three at Sam Houston State and have come back home to take all three against Abilene Christian. You've talked about the toughness and the fight that you've seen. What what other kinds of things are, are you really seeing in, the, in these last couple of weeks of this group? I'm just saying we're settling in and, and having good at bats up and down the lineup, um, you know, and not having so many breakdowns. Um, and when we get those runners on base, we're still having to be able to have quality at bats. And, you know, we've been able to have good pitching. Uh, it's kept us in games. And, um, you know, for the most part, we've made plays on defense. So, you know, we've, we've done pretty well, uh, played a lot better the last couple of weeks and hopefully continue to build and continue to move forward uh, just like we've been doing. Offensively, you score seven, eight, and nine runs in, in weekends here and weekend games this past weekend. You see Delafield as, as the Southern Conference hitter of the week. How much does her stepping into that designated player role giving you that extra bat? How, how much has that helped this lineup with the way she's playing? Well, it's definitely helped, especially, you know, her being a left-handed hitter, uh, to get another one in there. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's been big. Like, you know, we've had, you know, five, six, seven, you know, in the bottom of the lineup this weekend really, you know, helped us a lot. And, you know, when you, when you get up there and you continue to put that pressure on those pitchers, uh, you know, every inning and, and not let them have an you know, inning off. Uh, it really shows up in the game, and I think that's what's happened. Um, you know, just everybody's going up there buying in and committed to what we're asking them to do with their approaches, and they've been able to execute those things. And uh, they've really done a really good job, you know, making our lineup deeper and uh, giving us an opportunity to score every inning. This weekend against McNeese, um, you know, it's still very early in the Southland Conference race, but this series could go a long way in, in determining a kind of an early leader in, in this league. What's what's the importance of, of going to Lake Charles and, and playing a very good McNeese? Well, you know, we're going to go down there and play a great team. Uh, they've been on top, you know, one of the top teams in the league for the last five or six years. And, um, you know, we're going down there and it's playing at their place and it's a tough place to play. So, uh, you know, it, it's very important. I mean, any conference series is, but, you know, it get, it's, it's pretty tough to go down there and win. Um, but we just got to get down there and just continue to remember that we're trying to do the things we can the best we can and control what we can control and see where it ends up. You mentioned there was five, six, and seven holes this weekend. Um, O'Reilly Cantrell has seemed to, to bounce back. She had a really great start to the season. She hit a little a little slump, but she has certainly produced in the last couple of weeks. And then Cody Vernacci has kind of emerged um, the last couple of weeks as somebody that gets on base, gets a single or a double, can, can move some runners around. Um, how big has that part of the lineup been uh, recently? Uh, huge. I mean, I, I think that, you know, top four has been pretty consistent this year, so far this year. Um, and, you know, them just stepping up and adding to it in the last couple of weeks, settling into their roles and, and doing the things that they've been doing in their confidence growing has been huge for us. Um, you know, it's just, it's just it, you know, it's like every other team. I mean, the deeper your lineup can get, the, the better, uh, you know, the more contagious it gets with hitting. And, um, you know, you get up there and the confidence, you know, with everybody uh, grows. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll continue to do that because they're very capable of doing that. And, um, you know, we'll continue to, you know, reap the rewards from that. Back-to-back -back shutouts in the circle from Michaela Brown and Sammy Guile. Uh, and, you know, you had a Bronte Roden come in and give you a really good relief there in the first game that, that helped this series sweep along. Um, you know, what we talk about pitching depth a lot, but it seems like it has continued to um, prove di dividends for you uh, these past couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, it just, you know, the momentum's so big. And, um, you know, we've been able to pull people, uh, put different looks in, and then be able to get us out of jams. I mean, you know, Sammy pitched great, but Bronte came in game one, and, and that could have, that, that right there may have been a big key to the whole weekend. I mean, if they, we go in and Bronte doesn't get outside of that inning, that game's different, and maybe it changes the whole weekend. But her getting out of the inning, I think, gave our team a lot of confidence. And us being able to use, use you know, different arms and, did, did, you know, let them see different looks has definitely big, been a huge thing for us, and I think it helps each one of those pitchers be better also. 
Coach, thank you very much. Thanks.